Hey guys, I'm back home from Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of walkthrough that I did. Uh, that's a small Dollar Tree, so they don't really have a whole lot of things. I just went ahead and just showed you guys, you know, what they do have. So I hope you find some inspiration and something that you can, you may want to pick up. Hold on, you guys, because there's a truck that's loud out here. I'm sorry about the noise, but I'm outside on my porch. Sorry about that. It's nothing aggravating than to be outside <laughs> talking and then all of a sudden you hear that. But anyway, I'm going to share with you guys, um, give you a little update about my husband, Sam. And but first, I'm going to show you the couple of items that I did pick up at uh, Dollar Tree. Nothing super duper. They didn't have anything that I wanted. I just happened to uh, pick up these um, silver picks. And I don't even know why I got them. I think I had I had something in mind to you know to use it for. So you know you can just pick up food, different pieces like meat or fruit. And um, you know, I just thought they were cute to pick up. So I might end up using them. And then I'm gonna use. I'm thinking about using this little beautiful picture frame. Uh, because there's a breast cancer awareness uh, collab that I'm doing that I'm participating in and I want to um, I'm thinking about putting a nice picture in here for that so that'll give you guys something to look forward to um, I think it's the end of this month yes yes this is breast cancer awareness um, collab that's being hosted by everyday living by Karen Jeter and she's hosting this and um, I hope you guys will stay tuned and you know tune in to it when whenever I upload it but anyway um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a, an update and as you can tell by my smile that I'm happy yes I am hubby is doing good he's doing so much better I went to see him today. This is Friday. I don't know what day you're going to see this video, but today is Friday. And um, I went to see him this morning, and the doctor came in not long after that. And he looked at me, and he says, so how does he look to you? I said, he looks great. He looks like he's ready to get up out of this bed and go home. Oh, boy, he is. He, he's been ready. He was ready the first day he got there, as he told me. But what happened is, and I have to be careful what I say because he does watch my videos sometimes, so I want to just be careful. I don't want to say anything wrong, I shouldn't say. But um, he, um, he had a skin condition called cellulitis. Um, Google it. I don't feel like going into the details of it, but it's C-E-L-L cell U L I T I S. It's a skin condition that gets infected. But just Google it to get more info on it. But um, it produces all these different open sores and a lot of pus coming out. Just a lot of gross pus coming out. And a lot of pain. Very, uh, very, very, very much pain. His, um, all of his internal uh, levels um, what am I trying to say his um, I can't even think right now um, the levels in your body like your blood pressure your sugar level those levels I can't think of what they're called but anyway you know the levels uh, everything was off the chart when I say off the chart everything was raised up high higher than it should have he had surgery done to um, he had a large abscess, a really big abscess. I can't really show you with my hands because I'm holding the camera with the other one. But um, I would say it was about the size of a small, um, how can I say it, a ball. Now I'm not talking about a small ball like that. I mean something really, something large, like the size of a, of a record. Like those uh, back in the day, those um, 45s. Okay, so you know what I mean. And a lot of pus. So that was all drained out. And 
whatnot to stop the leakage, to stop all the pus from coming, you know, constantly coming. So he is doing a lot better with that. Um, he has to have it nursed, you know, dressed. You have to change the dressing. And they have a lot of gauze. They have a lot of gauze that they put inside, which is a hole. They made a hole in his back like this. And I saw it this morning, and I was like, oh my gosh. I saw the nurse constantly pulling out the gauze. And, you know, it had, um, you know, the blood drainage from it. And I'm like, what in the world? And so I took a peek of it, because he asked me, did you see it? And I'm like, no, not yet. But I went around his back and saw it. And, um, yeah, it looked gross. I said, ooh. I tell you guys, I don't have the heart or the stomach to be a nurse. It's not for me. I tell you, all of you who are nurses, my hat goes off to you. You guys are awesome. If you can stomach certain things and things that you guys have to deal with, oh shoot, you guys need a medal. You really do. I just couldn't do it. And there's a lot of nurses in my family, but I'm not one of them. Mm -mm, I couldn't do it. But anyway, um, let me see. What, anything else new? Um, he's doing a lot better. That's pretty much what I can say. He's not home yet. He was tentatively supposed to come home today. But I think they're just monitoring a little bit longer. Just, you know, just to make sure. And I don't want them sending him home too fast anyway. So he might come home on the weekend. Or he may come home. Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, I'm not sure, it's just, um, just got to wait on the doctor's um, report, you know, he will check his blood, check the kidneys, check all of vital signs, that's what I was trying to tell you, that word, all of the vital signs and things like that, just to make sure that everything is copacetic, he got up today and walked down the hall, I was on one side of him, and the nurse was on the other side, and he was carrying his little, um, his pole, the, um, the, um, those bags, IV bags, there you go, IV drip, <laughs> I can't hardly think of the word, but anyway, yeah, so he walked a long strip down the hall, and came back, and then he started to speed up, and I'm like, oh, all right now, about to get ready to chase me all over the house, running fast like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but who knows, he might. But yeah, and then um, he was able to brush his teeth, you know, like um, he, he had not been able to brush his teeth in days. And you know, mm -mm. he was like, no, I gotta brush my teeth. He wasn't able to, to um, uh, shave, and he still hasn't shaved yet. I think he's gonna wait till he gets home on that. But, um, He's doing a lot better, but the thing that I, um, that my prayer for him, as well as other family members, is that he's got to change his diet. He's got to change his diet. I mean, because if he doesn't, if he continues on the path that he has been on, things are not going to get, they're not going to get better, they're going to get worse, and... You know, I'm not ready to bury my husband. <laughs> no. no, I'm not ready for anything like that. So, but he's got to make some changes, some healthy changes in order for the quality of his life to get better, for him to live longer. He, he's got to, there's, there's two choices. Either he does it and he lives longer or he's stubborn and doesn't. And then I have to end up having a memorial service. And I don't want that. My son does not want that, and no, no, nobody wants it. But um, yeah, that's that's what's going on. Um, he was admitted to the hospital uh, this this Monday, this week. Um, I decided to. Uh, well, I asked him. I said, "Do you want to go to the ER?" I said, "Why don't you just go to the ER? You can get faster service." Because he was actually going to go to the primary care doctor for an appointment but he was in so much pain so much pain that I just said let's why don't we go and first he said well I don't know yet I'm like okay I said I'm only going to ask you one more time I'm gonna let you think on it 
visit do you want to go to the ER that way you can get treated quicker and better than going to a doctor's office but we didn't really know that he was this bad off you know when he first came in I had no idea of course he didn't either and there was an issue we thought with the kidneys well the doctor told me today there's been improvement so there's nothing major wrong like we had thought because when my husband first told me that that the doctor said there's something wrong with his kidneys you know oh boy I you know I started crying and you know I had been crying on and off for a few times throughout this this week you know not and when I cry I'm not saying that I don't trust God no it has nothing to do with that it's just that you know and I'm pretty sure you know what I mean it just hurts you know when you see someone that you love going through something and you don't have them at home with you it hurts it just hurts so bad so um, I feel so much better now you know knowing that he's okay uh, he's gonna be okay even more he just needs to take better care of himself and if you have a husband you know what I mean some of them are just stubborn they don't want to listen they think they know it all they do what they want to do and whatnot but um they don't know it all so they need to listen to us wives right some of us have better wisdom than they do but anyway yeah that's pretty much it uh, that's the update on him but I want to thank you each and every one of you who prayed for him, who continues to pray for him, uh, who reached out to my community uh, tab and, and read my post, and you told me that you would pray for him, you supported me and shared your love. Thank you guys so much. I really, really, really appreciate you doing that. I mean, I just felt like I needed to come on and just share it because I needed, I needed encouragement too. I was reaching out for love and support from you guys as well as my family and you know it felt good to look at some of the um, YouTube videos I mean I only posted one video this week so far and normally I like to do two or three but you know no my mind was on my husband so I I just wasn't in the mood and I know you guys understand that but um so this is the second video for this week. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, we just have to take better care of ourselves. You know, we, we do. We just need to, um, mm, you know, you can't make someone do the right thing. All you can do is be supportive and try to show the example, be the example. And I do believe that with me losing the amount of weight that I have and I continue to exercise and eat healthy, you know, I'm just trusting God that that will get through to my husband. Not just that, I hope and pray that what he has gone through this week is changing him. I really hope so. And his family said the same thing. I spoke with them so you know we just have to just do what you can you know you can't make anyone do the right thing you just can't do it so I'm gonna wrap this up guys I just wanted to give you a little bit of update and thank you so much for your prayers and your love and support you just you have no idea what that that has meant to me my husband thanks you as well I did tell him that I mentioned it you know to you guys and of course he was okay with that he was like tell them I said thank you thank you so he says thank you as well okay guys I hope that you have enjoyed this little tiny haul and the walkthrough at Dollar Tree and the update so I will talk to you guys later you guys have an awesome weekend or the beginning of the week whenever you see this video i'm going to try my best to get it uploaded on saturday do my best so anyway take care you guys i love you guys thank you again so much talk to you later bye bye